Osenko and ourselves are discussed it uh, thoroughly and believe that you should use long-term conservative prices because you really want to know at what price of copper your project looks good. Then you do your sensitivity charts and show what it'll look like with higher prices. And, and so that's the key thing. And, and that did us really well when we did our studies way back in 2011. Um, back then for a bigger project with CapEx, it was it worked at 250 copper. Now I'm not gonna say that, that that's not current. But my yeah, that's nowhere close. And you said something about Goldman Sachs and they identified us as one of the lowest costs um, of copper needed to go into production. So that's yeah. why we were so, you know, we were low on the scale of, of incentive price of copper. And that's what you want to be. You want people to look at your project and say, okay, if in case, you know, copper prices didn't stay high, which ones would still get built? And so that really shows the, the strong economics of our project. If you love that clip, give us a like, then hit the link to watch the full video. Don't forget to subscribe.